In this video, we will demonstrate an aerial robot with articulated wings developed at the University of Illinois. The ability to perform a controlled perched landing on a human hand serves as a hallmark of its maneuvering capabilities. These capabilities are vital to enabling such robots to operate around humans. A unique feature of our bio-inspired MAV is that it uses wing articulation for control. The dihedral angle of both wings can be varied on demand and independently of each other. In addition, the MAV is equipped with a horizontal tail and trailing edge flaps on the articulated segments of the wing. We use dynamic inversion-based PID controllers to command the elevator deflection, the symmetric and anti-symmetric wing dihedral. The elevator deflection is commanded by a feed-forward angle of attack signal. The symmetric component of the wing dihedral regulates the air in the flight path angle. The anti-symmetric component of the wing dihedral is commanded by a two-stage controller which stabilizes the lateral directional dynamics and regulates the aircraft heading. Trailing edge flaps deflected in a symmetric configuration help ensure uniform yaw control effectiveness across the flight envelope. These controllers were implemented on an aerial robot to demonstrate the capability to perch on a human hand. A typical perching maneuver consists of a gliding phase, which brings the aircraft suitably close to the target. Thereafter, it pitches up to a high angle of attack and decelerates rapidly as it perches on the target. A robot lacked a vertical tail, which rendered it unstable and led to large deviations from the nominal flight path. The yaw and heading controllers, together with a dihedral-based mechanism, helped ensure a successful landing even with large initial and mid-flight perturbations. This was the first demonstration of perching by a directionally unstable aircraft and the first demonstration of perching on the hand that represents a significant step forward in close operational interaction between aerial robots and humans.